Gloss to you. Hi, Gloss to you, friends. I'm Connie. I'm Melina. And we're we are Count, count Twice, twice Dish Ones. <laughs> we're here for our May update. Yeah. It's been since April, early April that we've I'd like to just done. a little bit over a month. Yeah. A little bit over a month, but I was gone. Melina was gone. We now had so back. much stuff happen. <laughs> we have. <laughs> so, we have a lot. We do. Okay, I'm going to start off because Happy Mother's Day! Thank you! <laughs> I and Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there who are mothers to fur babies or are going to be mothers or have a mother. Never. Happy all mother's you day. mothers. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I looked up this chicken joke for you. <laughs> okay. Why are chickens so funny? I don't know why. <laughs> Yay, chicken <laughs> joke. <sighs> okay, so we're here to talk about our cross, cross stitch. stitching, and we're just gonna jump into like kind of a segment that I'm calling what we've worked on. Yeah, because, because it's got everything. <laughs> it is what it is, and Some it's gonna have everything in it. So. Wix finishes FFOs. We're just doing yeah, it all. <laughs> I have any FFOs, but I'm surprised. I am too. <laughs> I was trying, but my sewing machine, the tension <clears throat> got messed up somehow, and now I can't get it to work right. So this is a problem because I have several things I need to finish for some smalls exchanges, and I don't know how I'm going to do that unless I can fix the tension can you, on this. Is sewing there any machine. way that you can take it to fix it? Maybe. I don't know have how you tried long a it would take. YouTube tutorial? I did. Mm -hmm. The only thing they said on the one was do all the settings, and I've done that, and yeah, it, it's not working. that didn't work. And then the one lady said to totally unthread everything and all that, and re-thread it and all this, and that might help. So I will try that, but I have no faith that this will work. So anyway. Either I yeah. need to fix that or find somebody else to finish these you things for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> but don't mess up its tension too. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's the problem. Mm. Anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to kick us off. I, I might have showed this last time and not worked on it since then or I might not have. So this is high ruled and I'm like funking it up a little bit because I'm putting the welcome of the other chart that's in there on the top because I wanted to make it longer. So I'm kind of fussing that a little bit to make it fit, but that's where I'm at. This was supposed to be my focus for a finish in April, which um, clearly didn't happen, mm -hmm. but I am gonna have. A ways to go. Uh, I didn't have an <laughs> April finish, but I will have a May finish, so that's okay. I'm okay with it. Yep, that's awesome. Yep. And it's so pretty. I like the colors, I and too. I like the, I, really the, like, I the like it on the gray Me too. a lot. It's very pretty. So, very hey. pretty. All right, my current whip, which I also worked on during the spring and summer in Stars Hollow. Everybody gets that mixed up. It was the summer in Stars Hollow, right? Yeah, spring? It was spring. Oh, sorry, it was spring. Um, I worked on this for one of the stitching challenges, which was stitch on something with green. So I worked on this Mill Hill Opera House. I have been working on this for the last couple of days too, so I've gotten a lot more done than I did in the stitching challenge. So I'm working on this. I'm hoping I finish it, but I know I still have Those to Those are do a lot of stitches. It is a lot of stitches, plus a lot of colored change it all every which way so yeah I'll be done some here but I uh, also have a few more smalls I have to get done so I still want to work on that because I started 11 things for this summer <laughs> stars Hollow, or spring and stars hollow I mean yeah I started a lot of things for that so <clears throat> I gotta do a small, I gotta pick out some small exchanges for the retreats we have coming up and that is, the, is what I need to do next instead yeah, of whatever you know. my brain is sending me off to do, I need to focus yeah. and do the smalls yeah, and too. get it done. Me too. Okay, my next thing that I worked on is my um, do, 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 do. long dog 
and I've just been like trying to color complete whatever color. I don't even know which one. I think maybe like that light blue mm -hmm. color. Pretty. But yeah, this is what I take when I'm traveling. And so I took this when um, I went to Universal with Janelle and Athena and worked on this a little bit on that trip. Oh, it looks good. Keeps looking better and better. <clears throat> so it's slowly getting there, but I don't have a rush on getting it finished because it is a nice project to take traveling because it's DMC. Yeah, it's like coloring, kind of filling in a lot of the parts. Right. So, well, this was another one I started. I already stitched this, but I, I didn't have the kind of, I don't know, whatever paper they stitched it on. I can't remember what it was, but I just did this one on black because I didn't have. Looks like it's like white or gray. But you were supposed to stitch on something with alcohol, so. Da, da, da. That worked, but I didn't get very far, so there you go. So it's stitched on a black purple and paper. Nice. <laughs> okay, my other thing that I worked on in was my Stars Hollow ones. Here's one. <laughs> I did start spring during the um, retreat, but I was wanting to stitch on my other project, so I gave up pretty quickly, to be honest, because go where's making you happy. So you can see the part that I did was starting the other half of that guitar. That's as far as I got. Here's the whole thing. Oh, and then wow. winter will go here. Right? Yeah. So winter is going to be in March mm -hmm. of 2024. And then we'll have all the charts. But it's a get, you know, I'll work on it. I just, I've lately I've been getting obsessed with the project and then I just want to do it until it's finished. And so I was in a different project obsession as well. I was like, I don't want to stitch on this because right. I'm obsessing about this other thing. So oh, I just went what was, what was making you, me happy. Sometimes you like to work on other things. <clears throat> okay, this is one of the, I worked on this in spring and stars hollow for several stitching challenges um, it worked um, for a stitch on something with the moon stitch on something with the cat and stitch on something with a vehicle so it worked for all those things so I worked on that several times and mainly I just worked on the blimpy the what <laughs> the blimp <laughs> we got a we got a stitch long out of this because I was saying it was a dirigible and instead of a dirigible and then um, Jessica was saying what did you say you were stitching on a dirty gerbil <laughs> so we have a dirty gerbil style that Melina found this hamster chart that we're gonna do because hamsters and gerbils are kind of close to the same thing. So I still haven't gotten that pattern, but I'm going to. So that will be a fun uh, thing. We got another stitching challenge or stitch along. Stitch along out of that too, which is a uh, stitch on a kraken. So several people are joining in on that one because. We were teasing Athena's husband because he doesn't like the Kraken. Was it hockey? Yeah, the, he the likes hockey. the avalanche. And during the retreat, the avalanche and the Kraken were playing each other. And we so. were saying we like the Krakens because we like the name. And, and we the, like colors the colors of the outfits were cute. <laughs> and we, we liked the Kraken, so <laughs> just to annoy her husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to stitch some Kraken stuff, mm -hmm. too. And I haven't got that chart either, but... I've got to get those done. Yeah. But next I on my list is my small exchange. Smalls, so. Okay. You want me to go next or sure. you want to go next? Because I, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of out several. of whips after this one, so. Here it is. I worked on, let's see. I worked on this one. It's a Prairie Schooler Oh Christmas tree, but it's, these are the 12 days of Christmas. So I worked on this because I had to work stitch on something with a cap. So he has a little cap with a feather in it. And then stitch on something with a swan. Just actually have the swan. So I worked on both of those. 
And this is on a, I think, 32 count Magana. And as far as I got on both of those, not very big starts, but a little bit. A start is a start. Yep. So, two more starts for my 11 starts for the three. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get down in whips and then I just made 11 more. And you just got up in whips. I know, so. Okay. Well. So, this is my a project obsession. And you can see that she is almost done. You I mean, moving we'll right along. We'll probably finish her. her today. All I have left is all the lace backstitch on the collar. The rest of the backstitch is done. Gorgeous. And all of the cross stitches are done. Awesome. She's so pretty. She looks really good. Yay! Wahoo! <laughs> They're almost done. Mm -hmm. She looks so good. Good job. Thanks. I love her. I'm kind of like thinking maybe I might change her eyebrow backstitch color because I think it looks kind of weird. But other than that, I like really like her. I'll zoom in. You can kind of see it's kind of yeah. a weird color, but maybe a little darker or mm -hmm. something, closer to the color that her eyebrows stitched mm -hmm. in would be more normal, I think. <laughs> well, another thing I started was is um, Pineberry Lane Fancy Blacket Shoe. And this was stitch on something with hay or straw. The witch's broom is made out of straw. That was my concession on that one. <laughs> I hardly got very far at all on that. Well, that's as much as I got done. Some of the border and the post. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I was doing the border and then I thought, I am picking dumb things to work on because this I'm stitching it on 40 count feldspar by Picture This Plus. And I'm doing it in all of the over dyed flosses. So I'm just like, yeah, that was dumb because I have to do every stitch individually. Well, I don't have to, but that's what I was doing. And I'm like, on 40 count. And then, you know, that doesn't help you get a lot of stitches done. <laughs> Not exactly like the most easy choice, but you know. Yeah, whatever. So then also, this, that was a new start. This is a new start the Witch Hazel Sampler by uh, With a Needle and Thread. And I also didn't get very far on that. Some of the border and her shoe. <laughs> One shoe. And this is on 40 count something that I don't remember the name of. And I don't think they ever gave me a thing that said what it was. I got it at Galleria from mm -hmm. uh, the Silver Needle. So mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was, but. That's as far as I got on that one. I also started, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but it's the Snowman Autumn and Winter. I was working on the autumn one for work on something with a basket. So, and I decided I'm doing it over one. <laughs> so, She's a glutton for punishment. That's my big start on that one. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll try that on a stitching challenge. That's fun too. <laughs> and then um, stitch on something with a dog is one of them. So I started Duncan Dog by Brooks Books. This is a free chart from Brooks Books Publishing, um, the Advent Animals. So I've already finished um, Katie Kitty, and there's Duncan Dog, what I got started on him. So, not too far, but I'm stitching the bone going the opposite way that it shows it on here because I'm not stitching the number and all that. So, trying to make it a little bit smaller of a pattern. Let's make them into ornaments. 
Then I also started um, this one, which I guess I could have worked on this for something with a basket. Oh, yeah, also, totally but I didn't even think of that until it was too late. Too late. So it was also by Brooks Books Publishing, the Oz Santa. And I started with the balloon because one of the stitching challenges was work on something with a rainbow. And well, while it's not exactly a rainbow, it's rainbow colors. So eh, I started that. And I worked on this a little bit more than just the stitching challenge too. So I actually got a lot more done on that one. So that's that. And that was most of the stuff that I worked on for the stitching challenges. All the rest of the stuff is, well, no, there's stuff in here that I finished. And these are all my finishes. Um, do you have any finishes? No. Okay. <laughs> Just that one that you're almost finished. Yeah, I'm not gonna, it's, all this backstage yes, take forever. I know it does. So I worked on Night Walk Down before I left to go to uh, North Carolina, which is by the Blue Flower, and I actually finished. Da, 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 da. Woohoo! So it is finished. Now I just have to figure out what I'm doing with the framing of it. Because my husband did say he could frame things now, but then I have to figure out, like, either lacing or pinning and this border beams, how it is, I'm not sure about that. And then I also have to find framing materials, so I don't know about it. But anyway, I did that. Then also before we left, I was working on this Songs of Spring. Oops by Lizzie Kate. Um, I was working on this scissor fob because I already finished this little pillow. So I did mine on purple. And I don't remember what what the color was on that. Let's see if I wrote it down on here. Oh yes. 32 count hydrangea linen by Fiber on a Whim. I think it came in one of the Black Nail Society boxes. But it turned out cute. I really like it. So now that I have to make that into a scissor fob too. So that's another thing I need my sewing machine to work right for. So. Who knows? Then I worked on this and I actually finished this while I was in North Carolina and it's a Brooks Books. I don't have the things as a PDF and I don't have the printout of that but that's in your Easter bonnet. And I think that's so cute. That snail and the ladybug. So cute. And this is on 32 count green Lugana that I ordered from 123 Stitch so I could stitch this on. Because <laughs> I thought she had it on green and I thought it looked pretty on green. I was going to try to do it on another color, but then I was like, oh, it looks really good on that green. So I got it on green. It does look good on green. Yeah, it does. And another thing that I started and finished, I started this on the way to North Carolina because it's on paper and I could work on it in the car, is this Mill Hill Spring Key. And I finished it. Whoops, still have to FFO it. I also have done the Autumn Key. I don't have any of the other keys. I already did the autumn key and this key. So this key was actually, um, I got from the Spring Smalls Exchange from my exchange partner. This is for a Smalls Exchange. 
And it is red, white, and blue. Designs by Jen, Brenda Gervais with a needle and thread. Um, and this one is, I think, called Liberty Garden. It's that one right there. I changed most all the colors and finished that. I was thinking of making it into a flat fold, so I don't need my sewing machine for that. But I think she's so cute. I love her. Oh yeah, that one is cute. So I did change up most all the colors because, you know, it was more primmy colors and also stitched with one thread over one, you know, two, two, one over two, and I did it two over two, so I liked it. I liked it. And I also worked on this, which is a, don't, going to be a gift for Melina. Okay, so she's not going to look. Don't say what it is. And I can't say the name of it, so I'll show you what it is. And that is. Oh, I finished that. What the F F O A? And it also came with this cute little thing in there. That holds the threads. So it's gonna be so there. Okay, wait. Okay. It's safe. Nope. Oh, I didn't. I had to cover it up. All right, we'll see. Okay, safe. <laughs> <laughs> then I also worked on this, which I was also <coughs> going to use for a Smalls Exchange, Liberty Girl by Nikki's Creations, and it is stitched on 32 count Little Vichy by Nikki's Creations. I, I bought this at Galleria like quite some time ago. And I'm not doing the border or in that. I was going to try to finish it as a stand-up. Right, so I only did one bird and then I added some stars. And I changed the dress color, I think, was the only color I changed for that one. Because it was with, I don't remember, kind of a grayish color so I did it with um, I don't even remember what I did it with but some over dyed white chalk or something like that. I think she turned out pretty cute too. Yep. So I worked on Whale Watch and I'm not sure this was a kit. Sorry for the crinkle. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this for a smalls exchange or not. I thought about it. Where that one is done. This one was fun to stitch. It has some, this all right here is over one. And then I think it has some eyelets in there, or Smyrna crosses. So it was fun to do. I thought it was really cute. It is really cute. Um, I really like it. I would want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I was going to stitch it for me on a different color because mm -hmm. this was the fabric that came with it, which I probably wrote down what that is. 36 count cider mill from Silk Weavers is what it's stitched on. I was going to stitch it on something that was more bluish more colors, blue. but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that makes it to a smalls exchange. <laughs> We might just keep it and not do it again on blue. And another thing I worked on, this I worked on for the uh, Summer and Stars Hollow Retreat also because it was a stitch on something with a heart. And it was cross Stitch Crazy by Marcia Manning of Cross Stitch Wonders. And it's stitched on a 16 count wooden blank by Lunary, Lunar, Lunary Woods, I guess that's how you say that, but I got that done, which is a 
I thought this would be like stitching on perforated paper, but actually it's a lot more difficult than that because one thing is you have to stitch it kind of how you stitch things over one, like when you make the loop. So like on the back, you can tell how it's loopy on the back because otherwise you can't get your needle through anything to end your thread. So you have to really think about what you're doing on these. And it's harder to get your needle in and out of the holes because it's so the wooden. It's rigid. It is. It's very difficult to, I mean, it's not very difficult, but it's harder than stitching on perforated paper. After I finished this and I started working on that opera house, I was like, oh, this is really easy. <laughs> But I keep telling her her stitches look really good on this. Thank you. It looks really good. So that was that one. <clears throat> Finished. But, and that was all my stitching for <clears throat> since April 9th, I think, when we filmed our floss tube. It's a lot of stitching. It is a lot of stitching. I don't know how many stitches it is. I don't really keep track. I had to keep track for the stitching challenges at the retreat, but I don't usually count stitches because I don't usually care. I just kind of look at my thing and go, phew, wee, like this. I thought, oh, this will be fast. It's small. It's on thing. No, it's got like over 2,000 stitches in there. Because <laughs> it's full coverage, me. <laughs> <laughs> this was 10,906 stitches, yeah. plus back stitch. Yep. So anyway, <laughs> it was done, but fun stuff. So well, that was a retreat. We had a lot of fun at the retreat. Yep. Um, I got to talk to some people that I know they've been at other retreats, but I don't think I've ever really had a chance to talk to them at those, so that was nice. Yeah, I like hanging out in the chat rooms and chatting with everybody and all that was fun. So we had a lot of fun in the chat rooms. And then the stitching challenges and then there were stash dives, which I failed miserably on those because I was in North Carolina and most of my stash was here. So I got a few things, but... Not a whole lot. I usually tried to get at least one thing because then you got entered in the drawings at the end if you at least found one thing. And then the digital dives, which didn't fare very well on those either. I did win a prize at the retreat, which is where? It's that big one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Here is my prize. I won this. Uh, Gifts from my garden by Hello from Liz Matthews. That was one of the prizes I won. That was the only prize I won. That was, like the prize. <laughs> that was my only prize I won. So you could win prizes for various things and all that. And like, this was the schedule. And then these were all the stitching challenges that I have. Totally scribbled all over. <laughs> so I knew what I was stitching for what challenge and all that. So there were 20 stitching challenges. So I think I did a pretty good job starting only 11 things. Mm -hmm. I, if you worked on the the Summer and Stars Hollow chart or Spring. I, or Spring. I keep saying something. <sighs> if you worked on that one, then you. Um, it counted for all the stitching mm -hmm. challenges, but I haven't stitched any of them and I'm not planning to, so I had to make other arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. Yep. I don't know what else to say about the retreat, but it was fun and Yeah, we did I, the um, the box last time, so Yeah, we did the we showed the box already. And what the rest of the stuff, I guess, is haul and... I have some stitchy kindness. I have some kindness. I'm not sure it's not stitchy. And it counts. 
close it. It's adjacent. Yeah. I got this uh, <clears throat> diamond painting from my daughter Alyssa for my birthday and Mother's Day or whatever for a bunch of stuff. It's so cute. But yeah, I told her you're not supposed to buy me diamond paintings. Not because I don't like them, but because I get obsessed with trying to finish them. They're addicting to me to just sit there and do the diamonds. I don't know why I like doing them, so. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> okay, I got from um, Katie and Laura, I got this project bag that Laura sewed for my birthday, which was in April 15th. So it's got mermaid, Christmas mermaids it's on there. Cute. And then the inside fabric is kind of like you know, seaweed, corally, flowery. I don't know. It's cute. Though. Oh, yeah. oh, I really pretty. love this bag. The fabric they chose for me is perfect. So yes, thank you so is. much. I love it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And then Janelle gave me this awesome primitive hair chart. That's the mermaid needle book for my birthday. And I love this chart. I had wanted it and she got it for me. So it's perfect. And she got me the fabric that it goes on wow. so it was awesome nice and then i got a nice surprise in the mail from davi um who's glitter dove fairy um on instagram and she also i'll show her business card there um but this mental health matters needle minder for mental health care sal may which i love it so thank you so much that was a nice surprise in the mail when i got that it made my day so thank you nice that was my stitchy kindnesses well i don't have any other stitching kindness i just have oh <laughs> <laughs> which are my color and cotton threads for our may they are gorgeous. Got them. Oh, no, they, oh, patriotic y threads. They're so pretty. I love them. Now we're on two mindsets of whether I need to say the names of these because some people said, yes, you need to say the names. I asked people, and I'm like, well, I don't think I need to say the names because. Like, what if somebody wants to buy them? I'm like, well, they can probably find out what they are. I mean, other than from me. But anyway. Okay, so vote if you don't. Yes. If you love the names or if you hate the names. Yeah. So tell me if you want me to say the names or if you don't care if I say the names. Because that's the only way I'm going to know for sure. Um, so you're going to say the names. I'll say all the names, but I'm saying them fast. Shining Sea. Valor Red. Old Glory, Yosemite, how is that a patriotic color name, I don't know, and Memorial. It's in the United States. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yosemite, First National Park, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Sky Blue, so original. <laughs> Hidden Lake. So much shade. <laughs> Liberty. <laughs> Smoky Mountains. And yeah, you know, National Parks in there. I would think you would like it. I do. And Acadia. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I've been to all those. <laughs> Excuse me. Awesome. That's all my friends. Nice. I like them. Nice. They're so pretty. You got more stuff you bought though. Yes, I do. Okay, I bought this at the store that I went to in North Carolina called New Old Stuff. <clears throat> so it's basically stuff that looks old, but it's new. <laughs> and I got this on a cheese grater. I thought it was so funny. I love that cat. It was on 40% off sale. But is this really an old cheese grater? It's old, some kind of grater. Yeah, it is an old it grater. Says brown, grater. Brown. Don't take that off. It's 
partially coming off anyway. Brom mew greater some slicer greater slicer with the with the slicer up here and the greater down here. So it is kind of actually old. It is probably. I mean, it looks pretty old. Okay. Unless they then they just hide some new crap on there. Yeah. It looks old too. <laughs> That's so cute. It is cute. <laughs> I could have bought more stuff in there, but they had some <clears throat> pricey. I thought their prices were pretty high in there. Oh, all right, my other um, one of my hauls is my shirt I have one from the Gilmore Girls, and I've got a couple other ones, but I forgot to bring them, so this is the one you get to see <laughs> from Athena Stitching Guys Designs. All on Facebook and I Instagram. I love this shirt. Oh, the same. I don't know. I just really like that shirt. I like it a lot. Okay, my other uh, haul is basically just uh, the Stitch Like a Flamingo box from the Black Needle Society. This is a the May subscription box. So, yeah. I will just go through some of this fairly fast. Um, this is the threads um, by Live and Die LA Pink Flamingo. It's the twenty-five limited yards. Edition. Yeah, twenty-five yards. So woo, that's a lot of thread. It's so pretty. I love that. And then we got this beautiful fabric, which is I got thirty-two count linen. And thanks for sending me the linen because I was lame and didn't check my email so I didn't see the thing about what kind of fabric you wanted so I didn't fill that out so I figured I'd get Ada but I got the linen so yay to me but this is from Laura's Laura's Fabrics Flamingo and it says this fabric is an image of a giant colony of flamingos from space if you see any little dots in your piece those are the flamingos feasting on shrimp these beautiful and noisy birds are a great reminder that we all deserve our time with friends to be loud and enjoy life. Whether you stitch in person or via Zoom, I hope you enjoy this fabric with your stitchy friends. Well, that was pretty nice little note in there. So very nice. And uh, we got this cute project bag, which I love. With all the flamingos on it, and it is Flamboyance Project Bag artwork by the Enamel Library. This project bag is made of a water resistant material and is perfect for keeping your stitching safe from any flamingo pool parties this summer. Did you know a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance? We think that's the perfect word for these pink party animals. We asked Paris to create a beach party scene for this bag and love all her fun and clever ways of including flamingos in the scene. Can you spot them all? There's a lot of them on there. So, fun. That was fun. Then, this is the chart. Um, a fancy flamingo pattern by Hands on Design. This box was entirely concepted around Kathy creating a new flamingo pattern for our subscribers. We are so honored to be able to include this chart in the May box. According to Kathy, this design helps answer the question, if I were a bird, what kind of a bird would I be? We can't wait to start this stitch immediately. And she has a little thing on the back about if I were a bird. Um, this <laughs> was also in the box, which is a a uh, five, five o flock somewhere drink floaty curated by the Black Needle Society. Spend some time waiting in the pool like a flamingo this summer. Use this handy flamingo floaty to keep your drink nearby and out of the water. Well, I probably won't be using this, so it may show up in on a free table somewhere or. Something, but I don't have a pool and I probably won't use this, but thank you. iPads, which you can use hot or cold, and they say, if 
by Kala Beauty. Kayla Beauty. Cool off this summer with these reusable iPads. Stick them in your fridge or freezer. Ah! Wait, stand me. Ow! Don't. You're so rude. She was <laughs> I was like, if you're trying to sound refreshed, you don't sound refreshed. <laughs> Stick them in your fridge or freezer and then place them over your eyes. You can also warm them up to help with stress relief or migraine relief by microwaving them instead for five second intervals until they reach your desired temperature. Um, then we got this uh, thread bling fabric flock shop thread jewelry. This is the third installment in our needle workshop thread jewelry. Set. Pick up your threads from this boardwalk based cross stitch shop for your next project. You may notice there are flamingos in the windows and the shop is growing pineapples in the pots outside. And then this is the needle minder, flock star needle minder. Designed by the Black Needle Society. You won't be just one of the flock with this exclusive needle minder. You'll be a flock star. And that says flock star stitcher. And then we got this storage bin. Stand tall storage bin curated by the Black Needle Society. This collapsible fabric storage bin is perfect for organizing and adding a bit of whimsy to your craft space. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but you know, it's collapsible. You can squish it down. So, there you go. That was the Stitch Like a Flamingo box. Do -do -do. The next one is called Once Up on a Stitch, which is got a lot of like. Kind of fairy tale references, I guess. And the designer is going to be the primitive hair. So, there you go. Um, the other thing I got was my fabric of the month from Under the Sea Fabrics. This is called Rose Hips. And I get 32 mm. count linen. That's pretty. I like it. That's it. Um, yeah. That's it. Sorry if you can hear all the noise in the background that our neighbors across the street are mowing their yard and it's like this tall, so. <laughs> dad was also mowing their yard. So my dad, yeah, my dad. My husband was mowing our yard, so there you go. We had a lot of mowing. Now he's using his leaf blower, so. Not my husband, but the neighbor, so. <laughs> leaf blower, the worst. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about the noise, but you know, they had to do that while we were filming. So, for some quick life updates from my perspective, I wanted to talk about my trip to Universal for, with Janelle and Athena was awesome. It was so much fun. If you're not, if you weren't following us on Instagram, there's a lot of reels we put on Instagram <laughs> of us being goofy. They're funny. Um, <laughs> and we just had. A good time I'm so glad that we got to do that and it actually happened so was definitely a good trip so I'd say if you can make a girl's trip happen you should totally do it because it's fun just to get away and even if you're not going somewhere like Universal it was just fun to be together we were a little crazy about going to the park like so much time because we were only there for a few days but it was still fun so it was a good time <laughs> yep and then, other than that, uh, my dog had surgery Monday, so we're reco we're in recovery mode from that, and then we'll find out what what's going on with her, but potential, who knows, we don't know at this point. Right now, she's on about 10 prescriptions, so that's fun. <laughs> yeah. So I've been taking care of my dog a lot, and that's about all. <laughs> and I really haven't been doing a whole lot because I got... My ears were clogged up and I couldn't even hear very well, even with hearing aids, which I got hearing aids and I had to have them turned up to four before I could hear anything and now my hearing is a little bit better but I can still, it still feels like I'm talking with wads of cotton in my ears. 
but at least when I turn my hearing aids up and down, I can hear the clicks before I couldn't hear the clicks at all. So, and I went from this ear to this ear and I couldn't watch floss tubes or anything because I couldn't hear anything. And the closed captioning on floss tube <laughs> is sad. <laughs> you don't even want to try it <laughs> because they'll get every um that you say, but they won't get it, you know. I don't think their AI understands cross-stitch lingo very well, <laughs> so it's not very good on that. So yeah, I just had watched a whole lot of floss tubes, but I did want to shout out four different people that I did watch, and <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I don't remember like very much about what they stitched or any of that, because some of them I watched like quite some time ago. But um, Jack's Creative Inspirations, Jackie was one of the people. She is one of the people that's going to StitchCon Weekend A. So I was try trying to watch people that are going to StitchCon Weekend A because Melina and I are also going that weekend. And um, Notorious Needle, Beth and Bridget, um, they also are going to StitchCon Weekend A. They were they were very interesting, and um, well, Jackie was very interesting too. So I totally think you should give them a shot. Um, While the woman crafts is Tara, and the ex stitching runner is Kristen, and they were both at the summer or spring and stars hollow <laughs> retreat and <laughs> I just want to say Tara's cat she has a cat named Fozzie and he is the funniest cat he's like very vocal and likes to talk a lot and stuff he was so cute and Kristen is in Australia she was very interesting to talk to also and they both have awesome floss tubes so give those people a watch and also I would like to say thank you to those of you who keep coming back to our channel and thank you to all the new subscribers because we've had a little bit of new people lately so thank you Welcome. very much <laughs> we appreciate it and I think that's all I have to say for them Ten count. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Things are going. We're going to keep stitching. I do also yes. want to try to figure out something for the mental health May, mental health matters Sal for May. But I know I found something last year, but I don't remember what it was. I'm running out of May. I got to do my small. <laughs> so I got to finish this. But. Yes, yeah. we are going to StitchCon weekend A in mm -hmm. June. June 9th, I think. 8th, 9th, something like that. Whatever weekend it is. Yeah, the, that weekend in, in June. And then well, I think we're also going to try to, well, I was going to try to do the Colorado Cross Stitcher has a summer camp. It's a virtual thing. And you can go watch her floss tube also, and she talks about it on her latest floss tube about it. But the, <clears throat> she has you stitching on a new project every month so june july and august the first month is stitch on something with a bird and the second month is stitch on something that grows and the third month is stitch on something that is new to you so you can either like use a new floss use a new fabric a new kind of stitching style or you know whatever you think is new to you a different designer that you have never stitched or any of that. So <clears throat> I think that will be fun. I'm planning on trying to do it, so we'll see. Yeah, I have a plan to do the first month with Athena. We're mm -hmm. gonna do the same chart, and that's as far as my plan has gotten so far. <laughs> but she, had, she has a free, like you can stitch her um, patches or badges or whatever. There's the one for this, one is real cute. It's, it's a little bird with flowers around it. Oh, I didn't cute. know about that. Yeah. You can go and get that for free. 
Let's stitch that up. Then you get you can win prizes and this and that. That's not really I don't really care about the prizes that much, but it'd be fun to win, but <laughs> that's not really why I'm doing it. I just thought it'd be fun. <clears throat> so I was thinking about I could work on my long dog because I know it has birds, but then I'm like, oh no, we have to start something new. So I think I might work on Funky Bird because I've had that chart for a long time. I've never done anything with it. So I'll start that for stitch on something like with the bird. I like it. Me <clears throat> too. And then what else are we doing? The Black Needle Society um, summer camp carnival theme. Retreat in August. Yep. And I'll be at Frog Wars. And then we'll, yeah, we'll do Frog Wars, but I don't do that in July. So that's our plans. Summer. And I'm going to Ireland in August, which that doesn't seem that far away it's now. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and nerve wracking for you. I kind of like. Probably start thinking about what I want to do. <laughs> so really? I'm like, I don't want to just totally wing it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. that's about it. I think for our plans. Yeah. I don't really have that much of a life date life update because I don't really do a whole lot. I just wish my ears would get fixed, but no one seems to be working on that. And so I have supposed to have an appointment on. Thursday and they canceled it until June 7th, I think, or 8th. I don't know. It's the day before we leave for StitchCon. <laughs> so, we'll see. But at least my hearing has improved. So, yeah. at least I'm not too worried about not being able to hear anything at StitchCon because, I mean, really, I couldn't hear any clicks at all in this ear on my hearing aid. And then it went to this ear and I couldn't hear any clicks at all on that ear. Now I can hear all the clicks, but my ears are still clogged up, so it would be nice to be able to hear at least as good as I could hear before all this started happening, which has been going on since February, so mm -hmm. it's very frustrating. <laughs> and prove to me how healthcare in this country is sad, but we won't get into that. <laughs> That's anyway. a whole nother story. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're just... Just hanging out, pretty much. <laughs> so that's about all we have, I guess. Yeah. We don't want to go too far in the Midwest. Goodbye, so... We'll call it. Happy Bye. stitching. Happy stitching. Happy Mother's Day. Bye. Bye.